Well, it's the next day here at Larson Farms. I just came over, I gotta go back to Dad's, help him out. Just came over to check on Eric. He had a couple of questions here. We're gonna check on what he's been up to. Looks like he's taught himself how to run the excavator. and then removing the black dirt from where the, this little grain bin sat. So it looks like he's doing good. He's actually dug the black dirt out using our clay pile, hauling some clay back in and four to six inches of gravel he's gonna put over this. So it looks like he dug down about, I'd say about two feet, got the black dirt off. Looks like he's doing good. He just wanted me to come make sure he, we were happy with what he was doing here and didn't want anything more removed. Because actually this whole yard for the most part is gravel on top of black dirt so any future expansions we try to dig down to the clay so we don't get frost boils because when spring comes that black dirt just seems to bubble up through the class 5 gravel makes a heck of a mess so we try to dig that all out when we're doing future expansions but it looks like he's doing good I gotta grab a couple things and go back to dad's place I guess so more carpentry for Chet we gotta get this done in this next few days and start preparing for fall harvest because I think we're about three weeks away. It is uh, September 3rd today. So hopefully the third week of September we'll be looking at some soybeans that'll be ready. So a lot of this clay here is from building bends, but actually we've been hauling it from dad's house where we've been removing a bunch of clay and rock walls and been dumping it here. So glad we're finding a little bit of use for it. Get to use it up so instead of a big ugly pile. Good morning. Morning. How's it going today? Well. Did you go look at it? Yeah. Looks good. What? Well, you almost hit some wire? Yeah, I mean there I was, see you covered there it back was some up. tape torn, but <laughs> scared me a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if it was abandoned or not. We didn't find out. So. <laughs> it's really just about going out there and getting it done. Yeah. You don't want to waste time. <laughs> well, when dad says, no, there's no wires there, you would think there's no wires there. Yeah. <laughs> as long as someone else says it's okay, you're fine. <laughs> Okay, I gotta go back to dad's I guess. It's kind of cold out. It is uh, 59 and about 30 mile an hour winds. 30 to 40 continuous winds today. We're in a high wind warning. Few more loads and you'll be ready for gravel. Well, I took eight out, so <laughs> eight put, loads out of that hole, huh? Put ten more in. I suppose build her up. I want to hump down so yeah. we can jump it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the water trailers really like that. What Merlin think? I haven't talked to him. He was asking when we were going to dig it out, so I think he's been. I was hoping he didn't drive into it last night. That's why I parked right there so <laughs> that he'd go around the hole. <laughs> Wouldn't he be surprised? <laughs> yeah. Well, it did feel kind of odd driving on the grass and tearing stuff up around here. Well, you know, he's not... I might have made a habit out of it, so... Oh, boy. Yep. You see, he's got his 
skunk trap out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> They've been digging in his lawn and he's not happy about it. I don't even think he's got bait in there. It's just a box for something to crawl into. Oh boy. Put some cat food in there. Well, get rid of some of those. They have walked on almost every square inch of the lawn, so. <laughs> <laughs> At some point they might walk in. Eventually the box. <laughs> they'll get in there. <laughs> Good. Well, I just got back from town, picked up some lumber here for dad's place. Dad's at a doctor's appointment and I gotta figure out how to start this roof that we gotta build off of that part of the house. I'm not a carpenter. I know how to do some rough carpentry. So this is gonna be a challenge for me or all of us. I'm sure to those that are carpenters, they'll think, yeah, this is no big deal, but it's gonna take a lot of, a lot of thinking. But we'll get it, we'll get it. Too bad dad lives on four miles of gravel because those were clean yesterday. Huh. Well, bitter patter. Get at her. I'll show you where we're at for progress. It's five o'clock. Are you leaving already? Probably. We just got Especially going. We just this. got done <laughs> looking at this thing for about four hours and finally started doing stuff. Eric was the <laughs> brains of the, oh my gosh. Look at how crooked that board is, you guys. What? Let me see. Call Smokey the Bear, the forest is crooked. <laughs> what happened to your face? Don't look at that. I'm hideous. <laughs> Should have put in my two weeks, three weeks ago. We should get a couple more screws in these legs. That'd be the last thing we need to have it all down on the ground. No. More screws? No. Well, I don't know if this is how you do it, but oh, it's how I'm we're sure. doing it. Please, no responses <laughs> on, oh, you done this wrong, you done that wrong. This will hang on the house, so it's it's structurally sound, I believe, in my personal opinion. But it's more than likely not how it's supposed to be done. But yeah, it's done. Yeah. This is what happens when Dad doesn't hire a carpenter. And They're all busy. Everybody's busy. Everybody who's worth anything is working. Ugh. For those of you that aren't working, get working. Because everybody needs help. We all need help. So those that can work, work. Yeah. Help yeah. me. He needs help. He needs mental, physical, everything. Look at him. Just look at him. His face is all cut up. I don't want to turn 50, much less 52. Enjoy your youth. It's just too bad that everybody when they're youthful is so lippy. The lips are just... That's right, I'm talking to you. When you know, you know. I've heard you say that before. <laughs> Where do you think I learned it from, Papa? Well, I was... Big youth Papa Duggo. I, I was youthful too. I'm not saying I didn't have a problem. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we gotta get back to work so I can go home. Take this down before it falls on your head. Gotta get another band-aid. Ha, 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 ha. 